there, neighbor. Welcome back. It's me, Haley, with WFSU Public Media, and we're still celebrating Be My Neighbor Day all week long, thanks to our sponsors, Prevent Child Abuse Florida. So we've got activities for you all week long, and today I'm gonna show you how to do this, but make sure you tune in this Saturday, February 13th, for our big Be My Neighbor Day event. So let me tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I made my own neighborhood trolley using recycled things like just some tissue boxes. There's a few other things involved, so if you wanna know more, come in a little bit closer, and I'm gonna show you how to do it at home. All right, neighbors, it's time to learn how to make your own neighborhood trolley cart out of just some tissue boxes. I did the front side so you could see how it looks finished, but I left the back side open so you could see how I constructed it. So I used one long tissue box and then two smaller tissue boxes and fit them together. However, I ran out of big tissue boxes to show you how to use the big tissue box. So I'm gonna show you with two smaller boxes. If you have a big tissue box, you can just cut out the top and stick it together that way. For today, I've got two smaller boxes and two more smaller boxes, but I've got them turned a couple different directions. So for the bottom box, I cut out the tops, as you can see here, and I pulled open the seams of both of those boxes. So you can see the seam on this box. I pulled that open. And then I folded the flaps in, just like that. So I made two little halves and those will act as the bottom part of my neighborhood trolley box. Then for the top two parts, I used two more tissue boxes and I flipped them upside down. So this part of the box is technically on the bottom side. And then I cut out that part and I cut out another side so that they have open bottoms and open sides and they'll fit together just like that. So just to give you an idea, they'll fit just like this. Now you will need to use a hot glue gun, so make sure you have an adult's help to put this trolley cart together. So the next part is also a little tricky too because we do need to cut some windows into the boxes. So you're gonna use your scissors and cut squares in each section of your box. But you need to make sure that you leave just a little bit of space around the edges because you're going to need something to hold it in place when you glue it to the bottom part of your box. So when you've cut out both parts of your boxes, you've got windows all the way around your trolley. Now the next part, you are definitely going to need an adult's help because you've got to connect this part to this part and you need a hot glue gun. Regular glue just isn't gonna cut it. It won't hold it in place. So you're gonna take some glue and put it on the ends of your trolley and then you'll glue it inside of the bottom part of your trolley. Hold it in place for a second, just to make sure it sticks. Again, make sure you have an adult's help because we don't want to get a hot glue gun burn. Those can hurt. So I've glued at the bottom of each part of my box, and now I've got one half of my trolley. Now let's do the other half. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's starting to come together. I've got the two halves of my trolley and now I need to connect them. So I've got to get a little clever with this. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to use some of the scraps that I cut off of my box to glue inside and connect the two pieces together. So I'm going to scoot these over. I'm going to be real careful. I'm going to do a little squiggle of glue and I'm going to put it on the inside of this box, and hold it, and then I'm going to connect them just like this. I've got to reach inside and press and hold those two parts together. There we go. And so now it's connected on the bottom, but now I need to connect it on the inside as well. So I've got a few more strips of cardboard and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little squiggle of glue and then on the inside, I'm going to connect the two parts. And the same for the other side. A little strip of glue. Reach inside of your box and connect. And there we go. I've got my whole trolley put together. So after you have your trolley all assembled, you can start adding paper to your trolley or you could paint it or color it in or you could even leave it as is because some tissue boxes have a lot of really cool patterns on it. This is what I did with this trolley. It's not quite done yet and I still have some things I need to touch up but I basically just took construction paper and I wrapped it around the box and glued it in place. I have to fold some corners down or I might have to trim them off. If you want a trolley just like this one, you might want to add some wheels and a little plaque that says neighborhood trolley, or maybe it will have your name on there and call it your trolley car. And maybe if you've got a little Daniel Tiger toy, you could put him in your trolley so he can travel all around. No matter what way you decorate it, you can make your very own neighborhood trolley right at home using simple materials that you might have just hanging around. And we can't wait to see what you come up with. So please make sure to take a photo and share with us on our Facebook or Instagram page at WFSU Education and use hashtag NeighborDayTLH so we can see what you've been up to. And friends, don't forget on Saturday, February 13th, make sure you tune in so you can watch our big Be My Neighbor Day event. And if you really want to join in on the fun, check out your local Leroy Collins Leon County public library system to see if you can get a Be My Neighbor Day bag while supplies last. So we can't wait to see you next time. Thanks so much for joining in. Bye.